Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm Jared Z, and I am a photography and journalism teacher in Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, I've been shooting now for 16 or 17 years or so. Um, I don't have a story that goes like the normal story of, hey, I was shooting since I was 10 years old, and you know, my dad put a camera in my hand when I was a baby, and as soon as I was strong enough to carry it, I was taking landscape photos or street photography or something like that. Um, I didn't start teaching or uh, doing photography until I was hired to teach it. So I had to really quickly learn how to do photography. Um, and it was back in the film days. So I was in the dark room all the time shooting hundreds of rolls of film and just immersed in the whole world. Uh, at first, I was overwhelmed. Um, so I'm able to kind of look back and remember what it felt like to uh, to be in that situation um, when I'm teaching it to, to teenagers. because. Back in the day, um, you know, YouTube wasn't a big deal or anything like that. Um, it was kind of a hard space to learn if you didn't have a lot of guidance. Um, now we're lucky that it's so easy to find help. And that's what I wanted to do. Um, get on YouTube and make a channel where I can post some uh, of, of what I've learned about photography over the years um, and, and hopefully help some people out, including my students who I'm going to share my channel with. And they're going to be able to check it out what I do and um, and kind of learn from that. So um, this will be part fun. It'll be part editing. It'll be partly tutorials, um, things that I've uh, I've seen in my photography. You know, there's no shortage of really high quality tutorials out there that I send my students to and I will continue to. Um, but I think one of the things that I could offer here is the Nebraska and the um, um, you know the Midwest flavor of landscapes and photography around here. Um, that's what I'm really interested in, and uh, I wanted to share that with everyone because Nebraska is a pretty cool place. Um, you might get a lot of flack. You might call it flyover country. You might go right down 80 and not look left or right because you're just like oh, there's nothing to see. I see a lot, and I think it's a really cool place. Um, I'm going to start this whole thing with talking about uh, iPhones, right? That sounds really ridiculous. Why are you going to talk about an iPhone? But I had a student just two days ago, I think, um, Friday, sorry, um, tell me that they missed some photos because they didn't have a camera with them. Um, and it was outside and uh, there was things going on. They're like, I didn't have a camera, Z. So I was like, Did you, do you have a phone? Yes, I have an iPhone X, which I'm like, holy cow, that thing is amazing. Um, and she was like, no, it's, it's, I don't, you know, I needed a big camera. And let me tell you guys, pr pr pretty much everyone out there, you don't absolutely need a giant camera, all right? DSLR or mirrorless or whatever you're talking about, full frame, whatever. You don't need any of that stuff to really go out there and have fun with photography. Now, I took a photo not too long ago that I've actually sold a couple times um, that people have liked on Instagram and other places um, that I took with an iPhone and most people when I tell them hey that was an iPhone they don't believe me so I'm gonna show you guys that and I'll talk a little bit about some of the uh, problems that I've had editing iPhone stuff um, but they're not really that big of a problem because it's still really freaking awesome so let's go and look at the and look at the uh, photo okay so this is that photo I was talking about um, it's an old uh, farmhouse that was on a property in Omaha that um, I actually shot portraits and um, engagements and stuff there. It was a really cool place, and they started to knock the the barns and the silos and some of the things down. Um, we were driving home, my family and I, my, my, my wife and son, and we came across this amazing sky um, coming home um, down 4th Street where it was, and it was like wow this is really really cool this is that amazing afternoon evening light where um, you know the sun's going down and it's got these golden rays you can see coming coming into uh, you know from the west just really illuminating the landscape really well all I had was my iPhone with me and an iPhone 7 plus right and um, so I got out of the car and I ran over here because I knew I didn't have much time to get some shots uh, with the sun going down so quickly um, if I wanted them to look pretty well, because I, one of the things about an iPhone is that you do need a little bit of light, right? You, you gotta, um, especially the the older, a little bit older ones, seven plus. You need some 
some good light. So um, I had it. I had a lot of light to work with, and um, it was illuminating pretty much every aspect of this of the spot. You can see here um, I'm in Lightroom, and the first photo I took is actually kind of cool, right? When I was running to the scene, I saw this big log that just happened to be right at a cool spot. And I knew I wanted to get that log in there, but um, um, so I shot some photos. You can kind of see my process. This is one of the ones um, that I edited actually on my phone within like 20 seconds. You know, I went into Snapseed, I think, and edited it. Um, that's kind of cool. Um, uh, you know, when you're out and you're shooting, uh, try to find places that are low or high. Um, you know, find different perspectives to kind of work with. I knew though I did want this side of the house um, with this amazing light hitting it. I, I really wanted that. I also knew I wanted to get this log in there to kind of give it perspective. Um, so I was just kind of working with it. Um, on my iPhone, it's hard sometimes to see, um, to, to especially with the light kind of hitting it sometimes, to, to really see what you're seeing. So I tend to take a lot of photographs, as you can see. I'm shooting, um, I think these are kind of cool, right? I'm featuring the sky here. Um, I wanted to get that kind of circle movement. Um, if you look right here, um, on the top right corner of the screen, and you can go and draw like this curve all the way down into this house. I really like that, I saw that, I was like, this is pretty sweet. But I was missing the, the log there. You could see me standing up, getting down low. Um, I was moving a little bit to get more of the log in there, and I got, um, s some of the, uh, some of the lights still looking good. Um, here's me trying to get more of the sky, moved a little closer and I got more of the sky. One of the problems with iPhone stuff is that this farther detail, when it's really got a lot of detail like grass, looks a little fuzzy, right? Uh, it looks almost like a painting. Um, but you have to remember though, when we're looking at stuff like this big, and this is way, way too, I'm, I'm just way too zoomed in when I do that. You don't actually, the output is never going to be like that. Most people just post to Instagram. Most people just post to Facebook. And they're going to be blown away by this photo right here out of the camera just with an iPhone 7, right? Um, and then if you tweak it a little bit, you can get something like this, which is like pretty cool. That's pretty wow. Um, I, did, I did not do this in Lightroom. I did this that night uh, on my phone. Um, I think Snapseed is probably the one I use. That's that's the easiest kind of one. And I just enhanced the colors, and um, it looks really, really awesome, right? Um, that's out of the camera, and that's with Snapseed. And I think I just saved right over the photo. Um, I probably don't have the original. Oh, there it is, the original. I do have the original. Um, but that's, that's pretty cool, right? Um, not perfect. If you look at the edited one, edited one, um, you know, I get some blown highlights where the, the whites are not going to be quite as cool. Uh, but that's okay, especially for Instagram. Um, I don't mind it too much. Um, part of the sky is blown out over here. You can see, um, not a big deal. Uh, I tried some vertical, which is not as cool. I kind of need that sweeping sky, right? Another vertical shot with the featuring the log. Um, going along, though, this is the shot that I ended up that was my favorite um, it probably between that one and that one uh, I like this one a lot but I like the log in this one more the log really adds something to it now the house is a little off kilter you can go and crop it a little bit um, we'll uh, straighten it out that's better I like that the landscapes kind of it's on like a hill anyway um, I don't mind that I think that's pretty cool if you look closely, you can see there's just a neighborhood out here. Uh, that's just a regular house. I don't care if it's in there. Nobody's gonna really see that anyway. Um, if you can get rid of it, get rid of it if you wanted to, but not a not a big deal. Um, you know, I wanted people to think, oh, this is way out in the country somewhere, and it's really just inside of a neighborhood. Um, and then finally, there's my Instagram crop. Um, I think that's the one I did as soon as I got home. I just used my phone and threw that out there on Instagram. Uh, and uh, once again, taken with the iPhone. Most people thought it was with a DSLR, and um, you know, it just wasn't. It's a really cool shot. It's actually one of my favorite shots that I've shot in the last probably three years, um, just because of that story of 
it being an iPhone. Um, when you are in Lightroom and you want to edit something like this, you can edit it just like a photo. This is a JPEG. This is straight out of the camera. The only thing, the more you edit it, it, it seems like the iPhone stuff can blow out the highlights a little bit more. These are going to be pure white. Not a big deal for social media, but if you're going to print that, it's going to look a little funky. Um, and the more you edit a JPEG iPhone photo, the more um, you're going to start seeing some problems, like some muddy muddiness to to the grass and stuff like that. If you really wanted to go in here, let's tweak some of this, add some drama to there. Um, you could do that. Oh, we can even do like a vignette. Look at that. Um, I still need to brighten this section up probably. Oh, we can do that. Um, we can go in here and uh, we can do a selection. Oops, sorry. And uh, go to the adjustment brush, guys. And, and I'm, I'm going pretty fast. And this is not totally, I'm not making this for beginners. We go over this stuff in my class. Um, you can find a lot of tutorials out there about how to use this stuff. And I'm just going real quick here. I'm not even caring about a mask or nothing. I just wanted to see what it looked like. Um, that's kind of cool. That's too much. Just a little touch more. Not bad, right? Started with that got to that you know let's let's uh let's save some of the highlights some of the whites what's the difference between the high oh i'm in the wrong i'm in the wrong tool gotta get out of there uh let's save some of the whites yeah i like that all right so started with uh that and i got to there that's pretty sweet right probably do a, like a graduated filter maybe that looks kind of good. And as you can see, I'm working fast. I'm not going to save this photo or, uh, you know, print this one. I already got my, the one I liked. Eh, eh, pretty cool. Too bright right there. I can lower that down. Um, but anyways, iPhone 7 Plus looks really good. Don't be afraid, people, to get out your phone and take the photos. Just try to remember to move around a little bit and get up and down. You know, I haven't worked on... Uh, one of these might be something cool um, earlier kind of with uh, it's pretty sweet you know I haven't even looked too much into this um, to work on this I kind of like that uh, oh that's too much too muddy let's push the you know, not bad I don't know the feature is the house the, that if the house wasn't there I think I'd say this was still pretty cool because you've got the cool sky and you got the cool um, you know, foreground, but um, I want to feature the house. That's why I like um, something like that or one of these down here a little better. So, um, all right, first video is done. Oh, didn't mean to do that. And uh, I hope you uh, got something out of it. The maps. I don't want to go to maps. Um, and just remember, go out and take photos. Have fun with photography. Don't let people who criticize your photos get you down, but take some of what they say to heart, you know, um, and go for it. If you guys, uh, if anybody has any questions over this and they have video ideas or anything they want to do, like what would you ask uh, me if give me some critiques? I don't care. It's all good. Um, you know, do you like this tree, this tree stump over there? I do not know. Keep out. Do you like that stuff? You know, I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. So, uh, thanks a lot, guys.